Hello, so Coral, uh, here one more time from my room of hope. Uh, again, I was telling y'all I'm a little bored, so I was trying. Uh, I didn't. I was trying to make a video, but uh, I didn't want to talk about what I was going to talk about. So instead, I switched it to something else. I had one of my friends ask me how you make tortillas, and unfortunately, I do know the recipe and I do know how to make the authentic uh, flour tortillas with the lard, the baking powder, the salt, and all that, but. They come out really, really hard like a rock. So uh, my mom's probably gonna be disappointed. But uh, the one I always use is this one. I get it from Walmart and it's uh, uh, prepared tortilla mix. Now you have to do is add water. So I don't ever have like a measurement. So I just kinda pour it in here. And then um, I probably did it like to about right here. So yeah, like a fourth of this bowl. And then I like to add a little bit of regular flour. I just feel like it makes it feel a little bit more natural. So I just throw in a little bit of regular flour and then I mix those two together. And then I turn on my hot, hot water so that I can start pouring it in here. So this is already prepared, you don't need to add anything to it. Like I said, I just, I just feel more comfortable adding just a little bit of this regular flour to, to offset the, the prepared flour a little bit. And then uh, for the comal, which is the thing, the skillet, whatever you want, I don't know what to call it. But it's this thing right here. Uh, it's about, I had it specially made for me because I make my tortillas kind of big. So it's a, what is it? 11 inches around. And then it's only like less than a half an inch. So it's probably like, uh, I don't know, it's just a, a little bit shy of half an inch. And then uh, my husband went ahead and put this little thing so I could be able to grab it. And then, uh, so that's what I'm gonna cook it in. And I know they sell a lot of the other ones at the stores, but I don't really like it because it's too, um, and of course you turn it on so you can, so you can start getting heated really, really hot whenever you're, I like to turn it on when I'm prepping the flour and stuff. So that by the time I'm ready to put them on there, it's already uh, heated enough. Um, that you could buy one of those things at the store, but they're not as thick. So that's why I don't like them. That's why I have mine specially made. Okay, so I put the, I mix the two flowers together. The hot water is what you hear. And then, um, there's not really a way to tell you like how much water to put in there. You just have to be mixing it in. And just how you, whenever you, you'll feel the flour when it's ready for the tortilla. You'll feel it um, when it's ready. So I just put a little bit at a time and then I mix it together. Okay, so it's still a little bit too uh, separated. And of course, I am not Martha Stewart, so I don't know what the right terms are. So just, just go along with it. Just follow what I'm doing come out perfect and then i was surprised because some of my friends last time uh they all had made some tortillas it's like what the heck and they look really really good and so i was pretty impressed that they knew how to cook really really good tortillas and with my luck these tortillas are going to come out all crooked in like the state of texas hopefully they come out around like they always do so because it's still really really separated i need to add a little bit more water and remember, the hotter the water is, the better because I don't know, but they just always say to put hot water. I always, I always remember seeing my mom put hot water, so I put hot water. So once you mix it all in together, and of course, I made it a little runny. So all you have to do is add a little bit. See, now it's too runny. Now it's too runny. So now I have to fix it and add a little bit more of the prepared flour. Cause I don't want it. It's gotta be just right. If it's too runny, it's not gonna work. If it's too dry, it's not gonna work. But like I said, you'll know because you'll feel it like, you'll feel it, let me show you. It's funny because uh, my sister-in-law's uh, dad had made us uh, the comal, the two of them. Um, 
a while back and they're a little small because like I said, I made mine really, really big, my tortillas. And um, so I had this one made a little bit bigger and I only had one made and they're like, why don't you make one with the two really, really big? So because I'm a slow, I roll really, really, really slow. So I had to just make one because the other one is just always like, hello, put some tortillas on me. And so that's why I just wanted to make one of them because I was always uh, too slow. So that's why I just had one made for me. It actually works out pretty, pretty good. I like it because it, um, so all you do is uh, you just mix in the dough together. You're gonna have a nice mood. It kind of looks like the pizza dough if you've ever made pizza or bread. It, it just has to come together. Oh, and my number, that's what my, my hair looks like below me because I always have to have it picked up. I hate, hate, I hate hair in the kitchen. It just grosses me out. So I always pick my hair up in the kitchen. When my daughter comes in here with her big old hair, just like a witch all over the place, I always send her out of the kitchen. I go, no ma'am, you go and you put something, pick your hair up, I don't like it. And then she'll start doing it here in the kitchen. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, can you not understand? I don't want the hair in the kitchen. I go to your room, pick that hair up, and then you come back to the kitchen. So I think I got it where I wanted it. So always make sure you have extra dough because sometimes you'll make it, you'll put too much water and you'll have to throw some in there. Some more flour, so make sure you have more flour to even it out. Okay, so then you just start kneading it. A lot of people think that I just like to have my nails did and with my hair and dressed up and that I don't know how to cook or anything. Just FYI, I just got back from work and I just rolled up my sleeves and now I'm making tortillas for supper and more than likely I'm probably gonna eat like five with butter. Not good. Again, trying to lose five pounds for the wedding and my um, niece's quinceanera coming up. But tortillas is like my, my drug. I cannot, I cannot avoid homemade tortillas. I mean, I, ugh, they kill me. Okay, so I always make like this big old uh, long thing like this. Okay, and then I just start doing this. So they're probably about the size of my, they're called testales. Uh, don't ask me how you call them in English, but they're called testales in Spanish. Do that. So I'm gonna put it on pause because I'm gonna keep doing all of this for a little while. And then once I'm ready to start rolling them and stuff, then I'll come right back.